this lesson is on metals, non-metals, and semi-metals or metalloids. Make sure you're taking good notes as we as I go through this video. So here's a periodic table. Many of these elements you already know of as metals because you you've been familiar with them for a long time. Metals, things such as iron, nickel, copper, silver, gold. You all you've known those are metals for a long time, but there are other elements on here that are also metals that you might not have been aware of, such as calcium or potassium or sodium. Um, Non-metals you might know, know about are things like oxygen or nitrogen or carbon. So in this video we're going to talk about properties of metals, non-metals, and semi-metals, and also where we find them on the periodic table, because there is a pattern, there's a trend to that. So some examples and pictures of some of them, potassium and calcium are metals, they're very soft metals. Um, Calcium is in marble. That's why it's up there. So marble technically has metal in it. Uh, mercury is the only liquid metal at a room temperature. You can see it beads up like that. Tungsten, you can draw it into those wires, ductile. So we use those in light bulbs, like the filament part. Um, let's see, down below you've got pictures of some non-metals. So you've got fluorine and chlorine, which are gases. Um, and then bromine is the only liquid non-metal at room temperature, and then you've got some solid iodine there. So you've got this little kind of chart in your notes. So we're going to fill in properties of each of these. So let's start with um, just comparing and contrasting, I should say, metals and non-metals. So starting with metals, they um, are typically solid. So most of them are mostly solid at room temperature. So the only one that's not would be mercury. Non-metals are mostly solids and gases. Um, metals, looking at them, most of them are shiny. That's typically how we kind of describe them. So they have what we call luster. Where luster is shine. Non-metals are kind of the opposite of that. They're typically a dull kind of look to them. Um, Non-metals, we use them, or sorry, metals, we use them a lot in like our cooking things, for instance. Um, our wires, because they are good conductors. Non-metals, on the other hand, are poor conductors. So we wouldn't use them in our cooking pots and pans and things. Um, metals are also malleable and ductile. So malleable meaning you can change the shape of them. Some of them you might have to heat to get that to happen. Ductile meaning you can form them into wires, like I showed you the picture of tungsten. Or copper is very ductile, so we use it in a lot of our wiring. Non-metals are not, so if you try to mold them and bend them and shape them, they're going to probably break apart, so we call them brittle. So these are kind of your main properties of metals and non-metals. Metalloids are semi-metals, semi meaning kind of half metals. They have properties of both. So they have properties of metals and non-metals. We can't say specific with, specifically which properties um, because it's different for each one. So let's look at a periodic table and say where they are. Um, on your table, you'll see this kind of bold staircase line, and it's bolded on here, so it's not so it's not as easy to see. So I'm going to make it more visible. Here's this staircase. That is your separation. So to the left, so this way, those are your metals. Everything to the left of that staircase line is a metal. So you can see you have your iron, your nickel, copper, silver, gold. Okay. Everything then to the right are your non-metals. So your oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, all of those. Okay. 
So where are the semi-metals and the metal as well? It would only make sense that they would be kind of right in between, squished in between. So I'm going to cross-hatch them. So I'll just be getting on. So we've got boron. There's one of your semi-metals. Silicon. Germanium. Arsenic. Antimony. And tellurium. And if you notice, they're all right on that line. Um, and so everything kind of touching that staircase except for aluminum, and you should know aluminum is a metal. Um, we could go down lower, uh, like polonium. Some people consider polonium a metalloid, a semi-metal. Polonium is radioactive, so we're really never going to be talking about that. So those are metals, non-metals, and semi-metals.